Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Show you how to make this two different ways, whether butted up against or not. I've started using black for a background because it really helps, especially with the shadowing. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a rectangle, hold down the control button so it's perfectly square. I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. And then I'm going to hold down the shift key and it'll grow from the inside. Somewhere about in there, it really doesn't matter. Now we're going to take the polygon tool, set on three sides, and we're going to make a polygon holding down the, con well, not even holding down the control button. That way you can kind of make an arrow shape. We're going to rotate it 90, to, well, a negative 90 or 270 degrees to get it in that shape. Now we needed this to be in the middle, and there's really nothing to do that. So what we can do is take both these shapes, go up to effects and blend and just blend them one time. And there's the middle. Now we need to go to object and break the blend apart so we can get rid of that when we do it. And you can see it snaps right to that edge because I have snap to object on. Now we can get rid of this line. And then we're gonna take some two point lines with the three point curve line. And I'm gonna go from well, I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to make a straight line. So I'm going to get the two point line and start moving, hold down the control button and make it somewhere like in there. And now I'm going to take my three point curve line and I am going to go from here to here and then give it a little bit of a curve. Trying to kind of keep it flat across there. Now go from here up into here and just stay away from that line, but get that point and kind of make it look about like that. Now we can take our virtual sigma delete key and delete these little bit of a line. Zoom in here a little bit. Now we've got that shape and I could have actually made this a little bit longer. So I'm going to hold down the control button and just move it straight down. Now I'm going to move this out of the way. My uh, nudge factor set on 20, and this is only 17, so we're good. I didn't make the arrow quite big enough, but that's good enough. I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool, and I'm going to fill this in with red and move it over. I'm going to fill this in with red and move it over. Now I can get rid of my lines. So I'm just going to nudge them up, and I'm going to move this back by the nudge keys. Don't move it. So it's still kind of in the center of the page. We're going to bring in some indexing lines and hit P and put them in the center of the page. That's going to help us rotate it a little bit. Now we need to use some uh, interactive fill tool on this to kind of give it a shadow look. And so we're going to go from there upwardly and we're going to add black to this white. So it looks like it's kind of going up underneath there. I didn't do a very good job. I would rather have that at a little bit different angle, but it'll work. And you can always change your blackness you know, change your redness. And that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to group this together, control G. And then I'm going to go control D to make a duplicate. I'm going to get the, I'm going to double click on the rotation and get it to the center. It doesn't look like it is, but it is. And then I'm going to rotate this 180 degrees and you get that. Now that's because it's going around that box, but you can leave it like that or you can take the point of that and have it snap to there and it kind of closes the gap and then when you put a black box it really makes it stand out let me take away the indexing line it really looks like it's a folded arrow effect anyway i hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching